hello guys good evening to you i trust you're doing fantastically great it's an amazing evening right here and um, i'm just preparing for work this new week i've had a very restful week so i look forward to work this coming week um about the three major things that stood out for me in the conversation or in the um, media broadcast of Peter B after the election. First of all, for those who don't know why I support the Labour Party, I am in support of the candidature much more than the party. And I am in support of the spirit of the movement more than the individual. I am for the movement for a, 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 the rebirth of a new Nigeria more than I am for the movement of President Pitobi. As a matter of fact, somebody's asking, so what is the spirit of the movement? Um, or what's the difference between the spirit of the movement and uh, the candidate himself? Well, the spirit of the movement is, is the desire for us to have a nation that is truly free and democratic a nation where power decision-making power actually and rightfully belongs to the people in paper and in practice that is the spirit of that is the desire that is fueling this whole movement not the not necessarily the candidate of p2p p2p uh, just happened to be the specimen through which we find expression of this desire and dream and so because he's the only candidature that happens to you know align with this our innate desires and dream you find almost every one of us rallying around him so it's the point i'm making here is it is much more than him this movement is much more than him it is a movement to see the desire and the dream of a democratic society come to play okay so having said that for those who didn't watch the the media session with peter will be four days or so after the election you want to go to youtube and search it out and watch it so the things that stood out for me and um, that's part of why i follow this candidate is his value system his value system and there are three of them that i want to point out here the first is the value for respect for people and principles he values or he esteems respect for people and for principles of course he showed out even in the whole meeting first off of the thing that they did in the gathering was to recognize that some people may have lost their life you know in a bid to to try to vote and all that and so he recognized that fact and had a minute silence for them you may say silence doesn't mean anything but just the fact that people are sensible enough to know that people exist and people may have you know gone just because of this and let us recognize that fact that shows that you value and you respect people um beyond whatever happened in that event if you have followed and observed Peter we even said it in that uh, particular clip whenever he meets with people uh, as much as he can if the situation allows him you see him reaching out to people not because he wants to be president but trying to find out who they are you know what they're up to he just loves to interact and want to relate with people that's an amazing value that we um, we want to imbibe and so i look forward to emulating these kinds of values and value system from him the second i'll mention is um first uh, of course to his simplicity and um, his humility that's something worthy to emulate i've never seen such a down to earth person such a very you know simple um easy going humble person as that individual you know is as simple as could be is as simple as could be i 
watched a particular clip where someone had to interview him in his living room you know he goes about his normal domestic chores most of them by himself and just does things as simple as could be that's something worthy of emulation another value i want to point out about him is the one that almost everybody knows about him i think it's nice it's frugality and accountability frugality and accountability not being um unnecessary unnecessarily frivolous he doesn't spend just anyhow just because he has the ability to fund it you know you take your time to make sure what you're spending on matters and it's essential and you also know that you're going to go feedback for every little thing that you um spend on and so that matters the final one that i'll leave you guys with and it was a big deal for me for um throughout the whole conversation uh in the meeting with him yesterday and that is um that is the esteem or the value for proper processes value for proper processes my god you, of course you know as an educator um, that would occur very well to me because education is mainly a process and um, it's about the process of acquiring character values and all that and so as an educator i value going through the process properly to attain at a destination to to attain at a product you know process makes you and as an educator we're into making people so here is a man also too that shares similar or same value system as esteem for proper processes he made mention of the fact that um a university called him to confer upon him the title of a professor and he had to decline that reason being that he has not gone through the proper process to get there you know most of the nigerians these days and mind you as we climb up peter or b peter or b is coming and all that we should bear in mind most of us should bear in mind the consequences of his governance those of you that are on serious that have been like a discount to government work um, and to government stuff you will now have to be serious because they will hold you accountable because you must do things right because you must go through the due process because you must do your due diligence it wouldn't be the time where government things are you handle it with a laissez faire attitude that will be the consequence it will, it will require discipline it will require integrity on your own part it will require that you buckle up too or sit up else you'll be arrested you don't do what need what's needed to be done okay so esteem for proper processes esteem for proper processes and that is so critical he made mention of the fact that anything you want to get or anything you want to be anything you want to do anything you want to have there is a process to get in that there is a process to be who you want to be there is a process to do what you want to do and there's a process to have all you want to have and so um, proper success in terms of achieving what you want to be do or have demands that you follow the due process i hope you got one or two things from this if you want to listen to the full clip yourself head on to youtube um, and search out for press conference with peter obi post election you're gonna find it there this is david obina right here if you are new to this channel i want you to click the subscribe button and subscribe i will we'll be sharing my various thoughts about personal development international affairs education and general improvement of your performance this is david obina and i'm signing out I'll see you guys on the next. Have a fantastic week ahead. Bye.